my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make a very easy and delicious carne con papas covered in a spicy salsa. So if you guys want to learn how to make this recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alright you guys, so here I have the beef stir fry. Um, you can use any kind of meat. You can also use pork if you like. Um, I have two potatoes and I already boiled them for eight minutes. And I, when I boil them, you guys, I just add a little bit of um, garlic salt. And then for our seasonings, we are going to use some cumin and some all-purpose seasoning. And this one just has um, onion powder, garlic powder, and salt. And then for our salsa, we're going to need three to tomatoes, six chile serranos, one piece of garlic, one fourth of an onion, a little bunch of cilantro, and one cup of water. And of course, your salt. So let's get started, you guys, with our delicious um, recipe. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do first is grill our chiles and tomatoes. So we're just gonna put them in the comal until they start turning black. So we're just gonna leave them in there for a while. And while the chiles are over there grilling, we are going to start cutting our, our meat. Uh, we want them to be like in little cube, cubes. So that's what we're gonna do here. Alrighty, you guys, so as you can see, this meat comes already cut up. So what I like to do is just cut them into um, halves. And they're just thin strips like this. I like my meat, my meat to be thin, you guys. I don't like it chunky, so that's why I like this meat. But like I said, you guys are welcome to use any kind of meat that you guys will like. This meat is perfect for anything. And then like the all that fat I don't like, so I have I like to cut it off. I'm a very picky when it comes to my meats, you guys. Alrighty, you guys, so while our tomatoes and jalapenos are over here grilling still, we are going to get started with our meat. So here I put a little bit of olive oil. Um, and I'm setting the stove on high. you guys until all our, of our meat starts turning this color like a brownish color all right you guys so for the meat I'm gonna season it with one fourth of cumin so I'm just gonna sprinkle that in here Oops. and one full spoon of um this all-purpose seasoning Gonna stir it. We're just gonna mix it all in there. And this meat, you guys, cooks fast, so we're just gonna wait for all the juices to um, evaporate with the meat, okay? So that's that. Alright you guys, so for our chiles, as you can tell, they're already done. So now I'm just going to throw them in this little uh, bowl with water, because we are going to peel them. Um, you are welcome to leave the, the... You are welcome to leave all the black stuff on the chiles. That's totally optional, you guys. But I like to take them off, except for the, potato, the tomatoes. Except for the tomatoes, and the tomatoes I like to leave them on. So I'm just gonna throw them in there. So I'm just gonna peel them, you guys, and then just throw them all in the blender. And this is what I mean, you guys, by peeling the black stuff on them. Just try to take them as much as you can. So. Mm -hmm. 
And then throw your onion, your garlic, your cilantro, and the salt. And the salt, you guys, you guys can always add more. If, um, it's just depending on your taste. And the water. I'm going to close that. And blend. And that's our salsa. You guys, as you can see, as you can see, all the juices and the juice dissolve, um, evaporated from the meat. So now we can just add our potatoes. And this is not gonna take long to cook, you guys. So we'll just keep an eye for that. So you can try it and see if um, the salt and everything is good on here. If not, you can add some more seasoning and salt. For me, that's good, so. And just remember that the salsa has the salt too, so that's just gonna add more flavor. So now I'm just gonna lower down the heat, you guys, and put it down to four, or medium. And now we can just add our salsa. See you guys. Very good. So now I'm just gonna let them simmer for like about five minutes. And let me cover that. So I'm just gonna cover it, you guys, and let it simmer for about five minutes. So I'll be right back in five minutes, and then that's it, you guys. And there you have it, you guys. All done. Very fast, easy and delicious it's ready to be served and there you have it you guys in here i just paired it with some white rice and some tortillas but you can always pair it with whatever you guys like very delicious Alrighty, you guys and there you have it a very fast easy and delicious recipe i hope you enjoy it and if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, if you are new to my channel please subscribe and i hope you enjoy my videos all right you guys so there you have it the very fast easy and delicious recipe i hope you had enjoy it and if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you guys are um new beginners you know you guys are barely learning how to cook don't forget that i'm here to help you and yeah you guys and if you are already a cook and you make your own recipes how do you do them let me know um and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and yeah you guys i hope you enjoyed all my videos and yeah stay tuned for some more um i hope you guys are all having a wonderful beautiful day and I love you guys all. Thank you all so much. I hope you guys the best. <laughs> and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. <laughs>